Last time on Mass Effect, Commander Shepard and the crew of the SSV Normandy touched down on the idyllic world of Vermeer. Reports concluded that the rogue specter Saren has had a base here for some time. Landing on the planet and taking down several anti-aircraft batteries, Shepard met up with Captain Kirahi and his STG contingent, forming a plan where Kirahi and his forces would assault the front of the base with Chief Williams supporting them. Shepard would lead his Shadow Squad behind the base in a pincer attack, crippling guidance systems, targeting IFF systems, and destroying fuel depots. The commander and his squad fought their way to Saren's personal lab. Upon entering, Shepard discovered another Prothean beacon. Growing accustomed to the trauma from such a device, he recovered quickly, only to find a terminal open up with a direct comm link to Sovereign. Assuming the ship was just an advanced VI interface, he was shocked to find out that Sovereign was an actual Reaper. After a short exchange, Shepard ran for the bomb site, secured the area, then received a comm signal from Ashley that they needed support. Hurrying to save his NCO, Shepard was forced into a corner when Lt. Olenko radioed for assistance from his end. Knowing the choice he had to make, Shepard chose his second-in-command and longtime friend, Caden. Blasting his way through Geth and Krogan to reach him, Shepard secured the area, only for Saren to show up. A short standoff ensued, with Saren fleeing once the nuke was ready. Back in orbit, Shepard watched the nuke go off and saw as his friend was consumed by nuclear fire. Now, with Liara's help, Shepard was able to discern the location of the conduit, Ilos, a planet on the edge of the Terminus systems. Now, the first human specter returns to the Citadel to plead for assistance with assaulting the world. Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. For those of you who just finished the most recent video, you'll notice I'm standing in the same spot. Because I am recording this seconds after I am blowing through this game today I will finish it I honestly have no idea I don't know if we've unlocked new systems to go to we shall see though let's see open her up I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel commander we got confirmation on those reinforcements ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel the Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that's right. It makes you go to the Citadel. SR1. Very nice. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus Systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. <laughs> Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. 
There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Fuck your politics. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Odina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Piece of shit. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I should have known this. Udina, the Council, they're all the same. Petty. Blind and stupid. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Whoa, hey, got up pretty fast. Hey, you want to kiss? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Bo show. I will bring you with me, pretty girl. I will bring Caden as well. Equalizing. Let's go ahead and uh, take off our helmets. Don't need them here. Get that singularity leveled up, Liawa. Interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The, the commanding you? officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Who the, f who the hell are you? Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Bah! Get out of my face. All right. Well, let's go to that bar. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. I love hearing the recaps of the missions I've done in the past. Alright, well... Let's go to Flux. Elias Keeler. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one. Just Don't like try to want. sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Healer, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Healer. Maybe you're right. 
I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Get out of here. Still can't believe that could happen out in the open. Hey, Doran, you're getting down. Oh yeah, shake that ass, Shepard. <laughs> For me, Captain. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission, just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know. I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not gonna let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. All right, let's go. Now I'm gonna see if those like protester dudes are there as well. I don't wanna talk to them. Yeah. Remember Shang-Chi. Excuse me! Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the First Contact War was that there's other life in the galaxy, and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for <coughs> citizens to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more oh. than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. 
It's a good theory, but these people are making it sound like a racial issue. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views, but our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. But you don't do anything to curtail the racist comments of your members. Of course not, Commander. Whether I disagree with them or not, they have the right to express their opinion. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno. But with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Shut up, dude. Remember Shanxi! Remember Shanxi! <clears throat> Yeah, see, those guys are just fucking racist. Hmm. Let's do a little... We'll go to the Normandy soon enough. Let's do a little run around, see what's going down. Busta Rhymes. Oh, fuck. Why do I keep doing that? Let's see. Maybe Conrad's over here. Nah, he's gone. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. That's pretty much everything here. Let's go look into the bar. I am not used to this kind of environment. <laughs> Too much time working by myself, I suppose. Eh, nah, just fucking harken. We Asari are more accepting of our sexuality than most other species. Some club owners like to exploit this by hiding. Ah, let's just get the hell out of here. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Hell yeah, keen is the right word. All right, let us get our helmets back on. <clears throat> Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. All right, my damn game crashed, so let's hope it doesn't do it again. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. There we go. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. <clears throat> oh, <are> yeah. <laughs> Take us Get away. Get out of here, Joker. Now.
badass. Just fucking stole the ship. All right, let's go. Yeah, no new uh, star systems to go to. Just the Pan Pangea Expanse Refuge. like it's covered in cities. Zafe. Alright, Ilos. Here we go. In the golden age of the Protheans, Ilos was a verdant world, dotted with spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 Gs. Yeah, that's a pretty fast orbital period. All right, let's go. Shepard, may I speak with you? Oh, you can do more than that. I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail, I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, sorry, but By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. Again! You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Ah, uh, there's plenty of time Duty for calls. round two. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. We're going in. Stealth systems engaged. All systems online. Ah, uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. 
Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Hell yeah. All right, Liara. And my boy, Garrus Vicarian. I love you, Rex, but Liara and Garrus, they're my homies. My two faves. Damn it. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Sounds like a plan. But first... Let's give Garrus some points. Max out your tactical armor. Anyone else? No? Gotta get our helmets on. We're in a combat zone. Let's move out. I'm so happy they changed how the sniper rifles function in this game. Man, originally, it was like Shepard was fucking drunk or something. Damn things just... So aggravating. <laughs> Oh, fuck! Are those armatures? Yeah. What's over here? Oh, can't do that! Can't do that! <laughs> I want close cover! <laughs> Heal. Garrus, give yourself a shield boost. I'm getting in close with the shotgun. Garrus, hit him with an overload.
Everyone on their feet. Statues, dude. Got him right in the pecker. Anything over here? Just a crate. That's cool. Actually... I mean, it's not a huge amount of damage drop-off. And we probably make up for it with the, uh... What do you call it? The upgrades. Tick? Did I miss something? Guarantee I did. I think I know where I missed it. That's the only control panel I saw. Just these things. Damn, I haven't played this game in years. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Even though Liar is not too big on the whole assault rifle thing.
This feels like one of those situations where it's like, come on, we're dropping the whole team. I feel like that would make more sense. Like, this situation in Burmire, it's like, alright, bringing everyone in, though we'll have like multiple teams converge on one location. Reminiscent of uh, Mass Effect 2 suicide mission. up here first. Surprise, more death. Good shot, Garrus. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go. So close to finishing it, boys. This place still has power. Must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. True that. Hit him with a warp. Ah, <sighs> fun. Now we got a little friend over there. Too bad he's just gonna do fuck all. here. Not too worried about loot at the moment. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. <laughs> too late. Unable to invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. 
act of desperation. The conduit... All is lost! It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. It cannot be stopped! Cannot be stopped! Cannot be stopped! Well, what's the point in this upper terrace? Alright, let's get moving. Gotta take out Saren. He's gotta go. Let's heal up everyone. Joyful little elevator ride. Come on. Let's move out. Get your shields out of my face. Take the vehicle into the creepy underground bunker. Good idea. I have spent my life studying the Plopians. Whoa! I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit. Fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. What the hell? Hey, oh. title theme now. <laughs> Mysteries of the universe. What is happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. Stay on your toes, everyone. Find some controls, shut this thing off. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever it is, we should be careful. Ah, uh, we'll just find the secrets of the universe. Vigil. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. It looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Oh, bathroom break. Ugh. All right. Back to it. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. 
But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. Shit. If he turns on the Relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. Damn. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attack, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the Relay Network. 
The conduit is not a weapon. It is a back door onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left. Far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. <laughs> Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols, and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction a sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. 
They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Mm. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors. But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function. But we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized that organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Hmm. Interesting. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. Fuck. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Alright, let's move. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are... I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Gotta go fast. Oh, fuck me, man. I wonder if the Keepers were the first harvested civilization, because... No, no, it's the Leviathans. That's right. All their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. The Protheans did not fail. They gave us a chance. It falls to us to make the most of it, so I suggest we hurry. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the Keepers could have been a, uh, a race that was harvested at some point, I, I guess. What's this? Uh. 
Whoa, whoa. Let's go. Fuck. Gotta go fast. doing their job. Let's keep going. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> that may go. Controls are much better, don't get me wrong, but hey, it's still the Mako. there. Incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Fuck. Shotting those ships. Activate the defenses, seal the station. The arms aren't moving, systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel, evacuate the council. Citadel control, Citadel control, do you copy? there. Gotta go. Hang on. Things are gonna get a little rough. Here we go. Hang on, everybody. That's crazy. Going through a mass relay in a fucking tank. <laughs> Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Turning people. Critical failures. All monitors. That must have been Garrus blasting them. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. 
Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. What happened to the Council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the Council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Critical failures detected across all monitors. All right, let's finish this. They do. The Citadel's closing. They're sealing the station. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Look at that thing. Torn. Such a cool design for a ship. Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. Rock. Hostile spot. Stop looking at the Reaper, Cody. <laughs> Focus on the gap. Ah, he's fucking 
Krogan. Well, he's dead. Good shot, Garrus. <laughs> Dropship, need to get these turrets online. size of that damn thing. moving. Oh, same Mass Effect 2, you can't mantle. Well.
just one more turret. This way. Right? No. Aha. Jeez, we're right under it. Alright, here we are. I see it. You can't stop me. Time, Shepard. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer. But I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Fuck. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? You don't understand, Shepard. There is a place for organics in the New Order. The Reapers need men and women of action. People like us. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us. And we can find a place for you. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it, not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <laughs> The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Fucking A.
Damn. Homeboy oh just fucking blew his brains out. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you really willing to sacrifice human lives to save the Council, Shepard? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension? Or hold back. Uh, save the council. They're assholes, but we need unity at a time like this. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Hell yeah. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Get him, Hackett. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Look at that. Everest class dreadnoughts. That's a cool cutscene. You don't get to see enough space battles in Mass Effect. Make sure he's dead. In the next one, I demand we have at least four badass space battle cutscenes. Oh yeah. He's dead. Alright, attempt number two. Fucking game crashed. And I got worried. I was hoping my entire recording was still uh, salvageable. And it, it works fine. I've had to restart entire recordings because the game crashed before. And it's like, fuck you. Alright, let's get into it. Get your rifle out. This is 
Everyone get into some form of cover. Just run around. Oh my god. The hour! Light him up. Now gets fun. What the fuck? Get I don't remember Death being in this fight. Just like an MMORPG boss. Take care of the ads, then focus down the boss. So we don't have a tank to keep them uh I can tank. Alright, hey, you got some more meta gel for that. Where it crashed. Hopefully, it doesn't make it happen. Sovereign's too strong. We have to pull back. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down, no matter what the cost. Oh yeah. Great, he's got full shields again. Shields the same. Sovereign's cheating. Get our uh, <clears throat> pistol out, marksman. In room. Got his ass. Gotcha. Okay. 
got worried. Get out of there before you get indoctrinated. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Such a great game. Medal of Honor. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. <laughs> are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. I'd rather have the Captain on the Council than any politician I know. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both Humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Hell yeah. Look at that concept art behind Shepard. <laughs> Very nice.
fucking amazing. Casey Hudson, you're a fucking god among men. Now, Andrew Drew Karpishian, Derek Watts, David Faulkner, Ray Muzika, Greg Zizitsky, all of you badasses, Jonathan Hale, Chris Hill, Mark Lowe, Rick Lee, Mark Antoine Matten, Dave Wilkinson, Shane Wellborn, Tony DeWall, Nick Deliberto, Mike Higgins, Ryan Kemp, Brad Kinley, Colin about all these fuckers. They are all gods among men. And I want to thank all of you. For those of you who are still watching and saw the finale of Shepard's Journey in the original Mass Effect game. I want to thank all of you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe for more future Mass Effect content, and I will see y'all in the Terminus system. Y'all take it easy. Bye.